right, it's that time. Welcome. Let's go ahead and jump in. So we're going to start today with our uh, warm up uh, as we as we usually do. So we're going to start with a little hamstring stretch. We're going to do a little a lot of legs today, so we want to make sure that these guys are primed up and ready to go. So extend your left foot out, heel down, toe up. Reach your right, or well, reach your butt back, <laughs> and reach the hips back. Keep the back nice and flat. And what we're doing here is we're stretching behind this left leg, the back side of the left leg. So you should feel this through your hamstrings on down through the calves, maybe even a little bit up in the hip and lower back area. Just sort of a scoop down the leg and stand back up. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Same thing, push the hip back, reach down the leg and scoop it back up. Again, keep this front leg straight. So we're working on stretching into our hamstrings and calves, a little bit into the hip. Good, that ought to do it. Let's go ahead and grab the right knee or right foot <laughs> I could talk today. Aim the right knee down, tuck your tailbone under, and reach your left arm up to the sky. So we're going to stretch through the quad here, and just reaching overhead, get a little mobility work through the shoulder, and we're going to switch sides right here, just reaching it up as high as you can, and just keep switching back and forth. Grabbing the foot, aiming the knee to the ground, tuck the tailbone under until you feel that stretch happening through your quad, right? And we're going to go a couple more here. Awesome, shake it out. Let's go ahead and widen your stance. Interlock your fingers and let's push the palms up to the ceiling. Try to lock out the elbows as best as you can. If you've got tight shoulders like I do, it's tougher to lock them out, but work as much as you can. And tip it to the right. Feel that left side of the torso elongating. Let's go up and over to the other side. Breathing into it, pushing through the palms. Good. And both hands up, look up at your hands and press your hip forward, squeeze your butt and lean back. Good, and then unlock the hands and we're gonna hinge at the hip and we're gonna fold forward. We're just gonna hang here for a few. We wanna keep the legs nice and straight. So think like you're pushing your knees back until you feel that stretch happening through your hamstrings. You might even get a little bit of a stretch through the lower back. Let's walk both hands over towards your left foot. And if you can't grab your foot, go ahead and just put your hands on your shin. But what you wanna think about here is your chest towards your knee with a straight leg. Even if you're up here like this, don't bend the knee. Sort of defeats the purpose there. Slide it, over, slide it over to the other side. Again, think chest to the knee, nice straight leg. Reach in for the foot. Good, and we're gonna hang the torso right down the middle. Should be a little warmer now. Should be able to get a little bit deeper into that stretch. And we're gonna walk the feet in now to about hip distance, and we're gonna sit down into a nice deep squat, pushing the knees out. Good. And we're gonna grab the right ankle with your left hand and reach your right hand up to the sky. Look up at the hand as you do. Really try to rotate it back as much as you can to switch sides. Right here. Yeah, good. Push the knees out again. And hands on the floor, lean forward into your elbows. Push those knees out just a little bit further. Good, let's rock back to the heels and we'll straighten both legs again. We're dropping the head with a slight bend to the knee, a curl of the spine, we're gonna roll it up one vertebrae at a time. And yes, we're gonna go right into our shoulder rolls. Do have a little shoulders in the mix today. Legs, shoulders, and core is our primary focus. Let's switch direction. We do have a little bit of chest happening in there. Some cardio. There might be burpees today, maybe. <laughs> and hands on your hips, chin to your chest. Let's roll the neck around. Ah, breathing into it. Getting warm and switch direction. Just like that. Good, and let's look straight ahead and extend both arms out to the sides. Let's go ahead and make just little circles here. Just gonna go for a few seconds with these little ones. And then we're gonna progress those circles, making them bigger and bigger. Yeah. Until we make them as big as we can. Big circles. Opening the chest as you swing those arms back. And then we go the other direction. Get, think of opening through the chest Reach those arms back and now make these circles smaller and smaller until we're back to where we started. Moving in the opposite direction, we're gonna stick here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and let's get some rotations happening. Swinging the arms from one side to the other, pivoting on the opposite heel, feeling that twist through our torso. Good, and I like to take it to the hips from here. So we're gonna swing one leg out, boom, with that right knee bent, and then other leg swings it out. Keep the knee bent, 
Just opening up our hips here. Just switching from one side to the other. Alternating back and forth. A couple more here. Boom and boom. And let's take it right into some jumping jacks. So I'm going to throw all kinds of things at you today. We're going to do intervals. We're going to do shorter work periods, longer work periods. We're going to do a half EMOM. Let's take that into seal jack. So no getting bored in today's workout, that's for sure. Good. And let's pump the knees right here. A little swing of the arms along with the knee pump. Easy pace here for five, four, three, two, one, and then kick it up. Swing those arms. Good, keep it nice and fast, nice and fast here. Five, four, three, two, and time. Okay, so like I said, lots. Of, we got four circuits. Each circuit has a slightly different uh, work to rest ratio, a slightly different uh, format. So the first one is gonna be three exercises. I'm gonna go over those, they're very simple. Each of these exercises is gonna have a rep count. This is a half EMOM. If you're familiar with the EMOM, it's every minute on the minute. You'd have a minute to do as many reps as is written here, the remainder of the minute to rest. We're gonna cut that in half, okay? So three exercises, 30 seconds to do the reps that are written, and the remainder of the 30 seconds to rest. So this one is going to move quick, okay? With the three exercises, we're gonna go six rounds of the three for a total of 18 sets of 30 seconds on. So yeah, we got about a nine minute circuit here. So first exercise is gonna be really simple. And in fact, they're all pretty simple. It's gonna be eight squats, right? I'm reaching my arms out as I drop my hips down, letting my knees track out toward the second toe, right? So I'm gonna go eight there, and then I'm gonna do eight jumping squats. Start from a squat position, jump, chop my hands back, land back in that squat position. Make sure when we land out of that, we wanna land with bent knees, all right? Make sure the shock absorbers, the knees, are getting that impact, okay? That's exercise one. Exercise two, here's where I say we'd be working a little bit of chest today. We're gonna do a wide grip to narrow grip push up, okay? There's a couple ways you can do this. Obviously, the way I'm gonna demonstrate can be done from the knees if you need to. Total is eight reps on the push ups. Now, let me say this before I show you uh, if, if eight is too much for the 30 seconds, okay? Then just do as many as you can in the time it takes me to do the eight so you make sure you get a little rest period there too. All right, so we go wide stance, right? So my hands are wider than my shoulders. I do a push up. I walk my hands into narrower than the shoulders, keeping my elbows close to my rib cage. I do a push up. I walk them back out and I do a push up. Now, if you just want to get on with it, you can hop back and forth, hopping back and forth for that wide to narrow grip push up. That's exercise two, exercise three is a double leg mountain climber. Those of you guys have been working with me for a while, you know all of these. These are some of my favorites. So hop both feet in and hop both feet out. Make sure we hop the feet in. If the knees get to about 90 degrees, we don't wanna hop in and sit on our heels, okay? So we're right here and back out, and that's gonna be for 10 reps, all right? Eight squats, eight jump squats, eight wide grip to narrow grip push-ups, or as many as you can do in the time it takes me to do my eight, and then 10, double mountain climbers. Again, we got 30 seconds to complete our reps. The remainder of that 30 seconds to rest, we are gonna jump right in, here we go. I got my timer all set up. Six rounds here, 18 sets. Starting with our squat, jump squat combo. Three, two, one, give me eight squats. We go one, two, three, and if you wanna grab a weight and hold it, go for it. Good, I think this is seven. And eight and eight jump squats. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good? That leaves us like six seconds to rest. Here we go. Three, two, one. Wide to narrow grip push up. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's my eight. I cruise through those. If you're still working on your eight, keep going. You still got 15 seconds left. 10 seconds. Go for those eight. Five, four, three. Plank position. Hop both feet in and both feet out. Go one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bingo. That leaves us 15 seconds. That was one down. We got five more rounds to go. 10 seconds. So if you want to add more reps, take away reps, leave that up to you. But now you know what we're doing. Here we go. Squat, squat, jump. Go. Eight squats. One, two. Keep those knees tracking toward the second toe. Four. We're breathing. Five, six, seven. Got a little cardio element here. Eight jump squats. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's eight. Five seconds. Three. Woo, here we go. Wide to narrow grip push up. Go. One. I'm going to walk him in. Two, three, four. Again, do these from your knees if you need to. Six, seven. That's my eight, 15 seconds. Whoo! Here comes sweat. 10 seconds, double leg mountain climbers. I'm gonna make it 12 this time. I'm feeling good. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five. Make sure you're leaning forward. Don't get your butt up like this. Nine, 10, one, two. Good, think of keeping those knees as close to the ground as you can, all right? 10 seconds. We're back to our squat, squat jump combo. Here we go. Eight squats. One, two, three. Breathing, four, five, six, and seven. And eight, that leaves eight jump squats. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five seconds. Whew. Goes by quick. I'm gonna get these over with. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's my eight. We still got 15 seconds if you're still working. In the nose, breathing out the mouth. Breathe deep. Here we go. 12. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more. One. Two. Yes, yes. This leaves a 10 second break and I do believe that was the halfway mark of this first round. Three. Squat, squat, jumps. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. One, two. Stay with it. Three, come on. Four, five. Get those hips low. Six, seven, and Eight jump squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going right to those push ups. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, ten seconds. Get ready. We go. Three, two, one. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going 12. Come on, keep up with me. One, two, 15 seconds. Shoo! Getting at it. Here we go. Three, two. Three, two, one. Give me eight. Go. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, good. Seven, that's eight. Give me those jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, back to our push-ups. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 15 seconds. You know the drill. Get those eight in. Oh yeah, we're feeling it. Get ready, double leg mountain climbers for 12. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more, and one, two. I do believe we have one more round, and then we move on. Simple as that. Here we go. Squat, squat, jump. Let's do it. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is eight. Eight jumps. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Landing back in that squat. Push ups, three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Got those done. 15 seconds. And then that's it. We got one more set of our double mountain climbers. And then we move on. They're coming for me. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come on. Ten, two more. And one, two. Ah. All right. Ten more seconds to finish that up. And you all get a little break. And time. Excellent. Okay. You guys get a sip of water. You earned it. I'm going to get us set up for our next round. So now we're going to switch gears a little bit. We're going to go 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. So now we're going more into intervals. Work to rest ratio, one or two to one. Three exercises again. We're going to go four rounds here. Total of 12 sets. This is a 12 minute circuit. All right, exercise one, you will need a dumbbell here. So this is an oldie but a goodie for me. It's a seesaw lunge and clean. Seesaw lunge, let me show you the waist down first. One leg, lunges back, boom, try to tap that back knee, front knee's at 90 degrees, and then lunge forward. Again, tap that back knee, front knee is at 90 degrees. So we go back, forward, staying on that same leg. Left foot doesn't move, only the right foot. For 20 seconds on one side, 20 seconds on the other. Now the clean part, we grab a dumbbell. When we step back, we keep the dumbbell loaded here at the hip. Bop. But when we step forward, we're gonna shrug and we're gonna snap the dumbbell up to the shoulder and then lunge forward to tap that back knee. And then as we go back again, we drop the dumbbell back to the hip. So we lunge as we snap it up, boom, and back. Now look, I know you guys have heard this a lot, but this is really important that we make this clear. It's not a curl. Even though the elbow is the primary mover, we're shrugging and sort of snapping it up. Right, so we're using that momentum coming out of this lunge, bop, to get that dumbbell up. So think of, Snapping it up and catching it. You know that, clean is catching. 20 seconds on one side, 
20 seconds on the other. And then we're gonna go to good old kneeling overhead presses. This is as simple as it gets. I got my right knee down, my left leg forward, extend my left arm out to the side, boom, dumbbell here, punch it up, slow it down. Feel like you're pulling the dumbbell to you, just don't let it come crashing down. 20 seconds on one side, 20 seconds on the other, and finally, we're gonna go kneeling again, and we're gonna go wood choppers, right from my hip to above my shoulder. Just imagine, boom, I'm gonna throw that dumbbell behind me. And so we just go nice and quick, sh hip to shoulder, the lighter the dumbbell, the further you can reach your arms. Those are our three. Seesaw lunge and clean, overhead press, kneeling, and kneeling wood chop. Now, I know, let's go Michael, but one little thing, one little thing, one little thing. The second exercise. If you wanna give yourself a little bit more of a challenge, a bit more intensity, you could do a, a jackknife push-up. This is great if you're ever traveling, you wanna work your shoulders, you don't have a dumbbell. You get into this down dog position, and you drop your head to the floor with your butt up. So if you wanna do those instead for the overhead press, Go for it. I'll switch back and forth just to keep a reminder. All right, enough talking, get ready. Seesaw lunge and clean. 20 seconds on one side, 20 on the other, three, two, step back, right leg, right arm loaded. Here, and we go snap it up, bang. We come back down and we snap it up. We're not counting here, reps, we're going for time. Whew. 10 more seconds. Notice how I'm jerking this dumbbell, up, boom. Three, two, one, switch sides, right to it, go. Here, here, and we go here, here. Come on, drop it down, snap it up. There's a shrug here. As we snap that dumbbell, up to the shoulder. Three, two, one, time. That is a 20 second break. Oh man, all this glorious break time. I'm gonna start with a kneeling overhead press first. Don't go for speed here. Go for good form. You punch up, cover the, <clears throat> excuse me, cover the bicep with the ear. Pull it down. Pull it down, get long through your torso. Keep your tailbone tucked under. We don't wanna arch as we're lifting. We wanna fight against that. Pump it up, good, switch sides. Right here, we go. Breathe. Come on. Right up to the ear with the bicep. Three, two, one. 20 second rest. Woo! Those shoulders working. This is what happens when you go on vacation and then you come back and do this class. You sweat like crazy. <laughs> I'm feeling it. Right here, right knee down, left foot forward. We go up. Right, nice and quick. Let the shoulders turn. Think of your eye line following the dumbbell. So we get that twist through the torso. We're not twisting, we're not getting that torso working. Switch. Again, I'm gonna throw it behind me, but I'm not, you know. Turn the shoulders from one side, get them all the way over to the other side. Three, two, one, and time. Oh, it's one down, we're going three more. 20 seconds. We're getting at it today. Here we go, three, two, one. Right arm, right leg moves, back. Snap it up, forward, boom, back. There's a little bit of balance working here too. When you push off, you're just pressing that left foot into the floor. Snap that dumbbell up, catch it as you lunge forward. Go ahead and switch sides, right to it. Down, snap it up. 
you're doing it right, you should be feeling it pretty good. Quads, glutes, core. Three, two, one, time. Heart rate. All right, we're gonna go into our jackknife push-ups next. If you wanna stay with our overhead presses, you stay with that. I'm gonna do the jackknives. Three, two, one. Right here. My elbows are bending down as the crown of my head splits my hands. Again, extending through the elbows. You wanna flank the ears with the biceps. Woo! If you're doing overhead presses, switch now. If you're doing the kneeling version. Make sure you keep those hips up nice and high. Keep working it. Three, two, one. Time. All right, we are back to our kneeling wood chopper. Nice and quick movements here. Nice and fast. Right knee down. Load the dumbbell on the right side. Go fast. Breathe. Keep that breath active. Keep those lungs working. Three, two, one. Switch it, same thing, right away, go. A lot of twisting in the torso. Really gets those obliques working. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. That's time. All right, round three. Boy, I'm glad there's breaks on this one because, phew, I could use it. All right, get ready. Here we go. Five seconds. Right arm loaded. Right leg is working. Three, two, one. Go here. Flick it up. Boom. I'm not interested in speed so much here. I'm just interested in you keeping good form, getting that back knee down, not letting this front knee go out over the toe, not making this just a curl, but it's a clean. Switch sides. Go. Whoop. Working on your balance. Uh huh. Here. And pop it up. We got 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, three two, two, one. one. Shoo! We are back to our kneeling overhead press. Let's go with our right knee down. Right arm is loaded. Three, three two, two one. right here. Go. go, punch it, pull it down. Don't overarch in the back. Keep your tailbone tucked under. The tendency is to want to do this. Right? We want to work against that. Switch sides. And look, if you're getting tired, which at this point you probably are, just take a little break. I'll be here when you get back. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Whew. All right, back to our kneeling wood choppers. Chop some wood. 10 seconds. Get ready, we go. Three, two, one, come on, boom. Remember, nice and quick on that rotation. Like you're gonna throw it. Three, two, one, switch sides, switch sides. Right to it. There we go. Turn those shoulders over. 
five seconds. Let's go. Three, two, one. And time. You guys got one more? Yeah? Yeah, you got one more. Of course you do. Right arm, right leg. Three, Three two, one. one. Go. go, step it back. Punch it. Whip. Good. Push it back. Come on. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch it. Here we go. We step it back. Pop it up. Hip. Hip. Come on, five more seconds. Three, two, one. Yeah, I might have left a couple reps out there. It's quite possible. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go back to my jackknives. You do your kneeling overhead. Press if you like. Or join me here. Three, two, one. Let's go. Breathe. If you are doing single arm, switch. If you're doing these, get those hips up. Nice flat back. See if you can do a light tap of your head to the floor. We got about five more seconds, come on. Three, two, one. Time. Woo. All right, we got one more of our wood choppers. And then it's tribata. <laughs> right knee down, right arm loaded. Three, two, one, right here. You know the cues here. We're turning their shoulders. We're exhaling. We're going nice and quick. You gotta really lock that core in so you don't lose that dumbbell. Switch sides, right to it. And you're breathing. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Done. That's another sip of water. You've earned it. I will set up for our next circuit, which is going to be Tribata. Where are you at? There we are. Okay, so this is going to be 20 seconds on now, 10 seconds off. Three exercises for three rounds, hence the Tri. This is going to be a lot of conditioning mixed with a little abdominals. So. These you should have known, you should know these by now. We're doing our, our two hops in a freeze. So if you got your right knee up, you're gonna pump the knees two times, and on the third, hold, and that should be the left knee. So we go, one, two, hold. One, two, hold. Up, up, hold. Up, up, hold. Get those knees up. Even on those two pumps before the hold, the tendency is to do something like this. Bop, bop, boom. Get those knees up the whole time. Then we're gonna go into touchdown squats. Similar to what we did to start with our jump squats, but now imagine a jumping jack on the lower body and the upper body. You're gonna squat down in between the out when you, when you hop out, and you're gonna tap the floor with your fingertips. Boom. Toes are faced out about 45 degrees. Drop my hip, let my knees bend out toward second toe of each foot. Tap the floor. Lastly, from the ground, facing up, starting here, shoulders are up, reach your hands by your hips, pick your feet up, and we're just gonna rock. Boom. Notice I'm not coming all the way up like this, right? I'm not doing this. I'm right there, right in between. It's a subtle little rocking motion. 
And that rocking motion just keeps constant tension on the core. All right, you know what you're doing now. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Nine rounds, let's go. In five, Heisman hops, four. Two pumps in a hole. Up, up, hold. Up, up, hold. Swing those arms with the legs. Get those knees up. Each time, hold. Up, up, hold. That's right, swing the arms. Pump the knees. Five seconds. Nothing to it. Three, two, one. Time, 10 seconds. Nothing to it, nothing to it. Now we're gonna hop out, touch the floor, hop back in. Feet about hip distance to start. Go, tap, hop in. Now you wanna give yourself a little extra something? Cross the legs. Keep your chest up when you're sinking down. Don't wanna get here like this. I'm gonna be there. If you have a logo on your shirt, you should be able to see that logo in the mirror. Time, 10 seconds. Now we're gonna rock for 20. Now this tuck bar version is too easy, I'll show you another version. So if this is too easy, we're working, so you're with me. You could be here. Too easy, you could be here or here. You pick your version. I'm gonna stay here. <laughs> Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Let's do it all again. In fact, let's do this two more times. What do you say? We're here. Ready up. Go. Two pumps. Hold. You could do this fast as you like. If you really want to get at it. Most important, get those knees up. Three, two, one. Don't want to skip on those knees. That's your core right there. Hip flexors are working. Let's go. Chest up. Breathe. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Time. We are back to our tuck rocker. Three, Three two, two, one. Two. Right here. Keep that breath working. Keep those lungs going. Five, four, three, three two, two, one. Rest. One more round. Goodness. Three, two, here we go. Get those knees up. Right here. Hold. Up, up, hold. Swing those arms. Get those knees up. You got this. Three, two, one. Time. Touchdown squats. Woo! Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's do this. Breathe. Big breath. Still keeping that breath moving. Three, two, one. All right, one more of our tucking rockers that we have our fourth and final round. Three, two, one. Let's go. Right here. Breathing. Ten more seconds. Come on. Five, four, three, three two, two, one. Rest. Done. Okay. This leaves our fourth and final round. This one's going to be a genuine Tabata. So, two exercises, same protocol 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, four each, eight total rounds. 
And yes, if you do recall, I said there might be burpees. There's no might about it. This is burpees for 20 seconds. Hands are to the floor. Boom, you hop out, hop in, jump. Modification, hands to the floor, step out, step in, and just simply stand. Or a combination of one of the other of that, those movement patterns. Take out the jump, whatever you'd like to do. You can take out the push-up, or you can drop your chest all the way to the floor there, if you like, but we did a lot of push-ups earlier. Anyway, I'm sure you guys know how to do burpees at this point. Second exercise, single arm plank, just like I sounds. You're gonna get into a regular plank with a wide stance, take one hand and reach it behind your back. Hold that for 10 seconds, take the other hand. What you wanna avoid is this, we don't wanna rotate. We wanna keep our shoulder and hip square to the ground, okay? That's what we're doing. Let's get to it. Burpees, that's right. Three, two, one, go. Hop. Come on. Good, keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! <laughs> That's how you finish a workout right there. Arr. Single arm planks, here we go. Three, two, one. Regular plank, reach one hand behind, hold. Don't rotate. Keep your tailbone tucked. Switch arms. Keep your shoulder over the arm, don't push back. Tuck the tailbone. Three, Three two, two, one. Rest. Time. Just like that. Three more each. Three, Here we go. Three, two, one. one and go. Three, Again, you're breathing the whole time. You can also roll yourself down and peel yourself back up on that push-up version. Three, two, one, times. Soaked. Three, two, one, right here. Tuck it in. Now look, if this is too tough, do both arms. You can also come down to your knees Switch arms. Three, two, one. Man, who came up with those? <laughs> those are terrible. <sighs> Let's go. Here we go, round five. Don't worry about speed here. Just keep a good steady pace. Three, two, one, toss. Shoo! Get ready. Three, two, one, go. Right here. The narrower your stance, the harder it is. Easier, harder. Why do I make things harder for myself? I don't know. Still have to figure that out. Three, Three two, two, one. Rest. One more of each. Let's Three, do it. Three, two, two one, go. go. Come on. Hup. Three, two, one. Yeah, I definitely left a burpee out there. Yep. All right, last set right here. Let's go. Right there. Keep the shoulder square. Keep the hip square as best as you can. Switch. Come on, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, three two, two, one. Rest. Come on down to your hands and knees. Open up the knees. 
Sit back on your heels. Let your torso fall right in between the knees. Reach your arms out and breathe. Shoo. Good. Let's roll up into seal. Nice job out there today, everybody. We got at it. Good. Press back up, hands and knees. Little cat cow here. Inhale. Exhale. And exhale. Give me one more of those. Inhale. And exhale. Good. And from here, tuck your toes. Press your tailbone up. Push your chest down and back. Those hamstrings, shoulders, hips. Walk your hands back and roll it up. All right, thank you for sticking with it. I appreciate you. If you have any questions, let me know.